All right, what's up, everybody? Potato Man here, <clears throat> and <laughs> welcome to A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead. We have been on a bend lately when it comes to horror games. <clears throat> we've been on a bender when it comes to horror games lately. Uh, we've been we've been streaming until dawn. We finished it. We've been streaming Silent Hill Two streaming this now and it just it doesn't seem like it's stopping like i'm just i'm out here streaming these horror games for you guys <clears throat> so obviously i want to point out uh some some uh glaring issues with this game so far i loaded up a brief save file i didn't get very far i just Loaded it up, skipped the cutscene, wanted to see how well the game ran. Well, the game ran like shit. Uh, let's let's just get that out of the way first. The game runs g game runs like shit. I shouldn't say ran. That's it's not the past tense. This game runs like shit. Um, now, I did find a way to fix that. We're gonna head into the game here. I did find a way to fix it, but obviously, I would much prefer to wait for a an official patch. We are still going to play the game. We're still going to stream it because I think I did get the game at least playable for streaming. So basically what you have to do is if you set this to unlimited, you are locked at 22 frames in game. But if you set a limit, you're going to be fine basically. Uh, now, with that being said, the game does still kind of run like shit. It's not bad. It's not terrible. Like I'm, I'm getting, I'm still getting at least over seventy to eighty to ninety frames, right? But there is definitely some screen tearing. I don't know if you guys will be able to even notice that, but the game runs a lot better than what it did earlier because of this. Um, now, like I say, of course, I am going to be looking forward to a patch that will fix this completely. So that way I don't have to have an FPS limit on. But at least I can play the game. And at least we are surpassing 70 frames. Sometimes 80, sometimes 90. So that's good. You know, it's good. I just wanted to point that out there. Just in case if there's any of you that have this game and are wondering, you know, why is the performance shit? Because you all know what kind of... PC I have, right? The performance is shit. I mean, 22 frames, it's it's probably... Uh, the more I think about it, it's probably not an optimization bug. Or, it's probably not an optimization bug. It's probably just a frame rate bug. Because, like I say, if you turn this to unlimited, you're going to get 22 frames. And I would show you, but I don't know if that's going to, like, fuck it up for me if I change it and then switch it back for you guys, but... It's, it's a common issue right now. And I just want to also point out that it's very, very unfortunate that just in recent years, or maybe I should say like in recent months at least, there's just been so many games that have just been releasing unoptimized or with some kind of frame rate bugs. It's like, I get that there's... You know, I get that the game development isn't easy. I don't know how hard it actually is, but I understand it's not easy. Um, but, I mean, if you have a group of talented devs, if you have a team of talented devs, and if you're testing shit, you sh we should not be getting issues like this, especially on higher-end PCs. Like, dude, that is ridiculous. But enough of that. I uh, Like I say, I found a very simple fix for it, and it's literally what I just showed you. Now, of course, an official patch is very welcome. I don't know how long it's going to take for them to bring an official patch. I hope it's not very long, and I hope that performance stays at least somewhat decent throughout the entirety of my playthrough for this, uh, especially during the stream. <laughs> and I also want to point out that I think, I, I think I'm good to get back to streaming Silent Hill 2, for now, um, because for some reason, and I never noticed this, for some reason, f uh, ray tracing 
was turned on. And of course, ray, tra ray tracing with an unoptimized game will immensely impact the performance, especially while streaming. So apparently ray tracing was turned on on my Silent Hill 2 game, or yeah, on Silent Hill 2, and I didn't know. I didn't even realize. I swear I turned that shit off when I first booted the game up before streaming that the first day. But apparently it turned itself back on. I mean, it's not an uncommon problem. There's been a lot of games where you turn stuff off and then you launch it back again. Then those same settings you turned off are turned back on again. Um, so that was definitely uh, uh, impacting the performance a lot. Um, you know, I mean, typically with the high-end PC, you sh no one should be having issues like that anyway. Even if you are using ray tracing. But I feel, I honestly, f truly feel like. There's been a lot of games, in, in this case, in recent years, that have ray tracing support that just don't run well. Even if you have a more than qualified computer, ray tracing just doesn't run well for some games. Like, some games it does. Some games it just it runs like garbage. Now, I don't know if there's something difficult about the, the uh, technology with ray tracing that's, you know, hard to grasp... I don't, like I said, I don't know what goes into game development. I don't know, uh, like, how hard it is to get ray tracing working properly. I don't know. Um, but I can't see it being, you know, overly difficult. But again, I'm not a game developer, so I have no fucking clue. But anyway, we are here with A Quiet Place. And uh, probably tomorrow we will be streaming Silent Hill 2 because, again, um, the... Ever since I turned off ray tracing, my frame rates have boosted. I wouldn't say quite a bit, but they've boosted a slight bit to the point where they're much higher than they were. So th at that point, I feel like that the game is better to play for streaming, and it's, you know, obviously, it, it feels a little bit better. Now, of course, it's not perfect. You know, the frame rates are still shit. Uh, I'm still getting around 60 to sometimes even 80 frames in certain areas. Um, but again, Obviously, there's nothing there's nothing that a, a patch dedicated to that issue won't fix. You know, I'm sure that they're gonna, I'm sure that they're working on it, and I'm sure that it's gonna come out soon. That'll you know, in this patch will fix that performance uh, difficulties. Uh, actually, funny enough, I think I did see that Bloober Team is in fact working on a patch for the performance issues for Silent Hill 2. So. They do not have an ETA, from what I've from what I've read. They don't they don't have an ETA, but they are actively working on said patch. So that's perfect. Um, if this, if they're working on it already, hopefully it won't be long. Maybe maybe next week. That's my guess. Next week at least. At least next week we'll probably see a patch that'll fix that performance. But in the meantime, we'll just take it day by day. We'll deal with the half, you know, half-baked, half-assed performance that we have right now. At least it's better than what we were getting because I turned off, turned off the ray tracing, which I swear I turned off the first time around anyway. But, you know. <laughs> but anyway. Let's get into this game. I'm excited for this one. I, I love the Quiet Place movies, and I'm looking forward to playing this. We have the brightness turned up all the way because um, we're not having a repeat of Silent Hill 2 where the brightness was so fucking low you couldn't see shit. Uh, we are obviously going to play on normal because that's how we do things on this channel. We play on normal first and then I go back and play on the hard difficulty. Never usually on stream though. See like right here I'd be getting 22 frames but we're like 80 to 90 so that's not bad. Big improvement. This is a huge deal. They're incredibly rare. And I guess that this game uh, runs on a 3080, or that's the recommended. This game is recommended for a 3080, so this and The Last of Us Part 1 are both games that are recommended for a 3080. So, again, not very many games, as I've mentioned in previous streams. There's not a lot of games that require a higher-end graphics card. There's only, there's only a few games, a couple, actually. I don't know if there's more than just two that I know of, but anyway. All right. See, like, from my end, I can see a lot of screen tearing, but it's not, like, you know, uber terrible. 
Um, and also the mouse input feels a little off and that could have something to do with the frame rates or like just the unoptimized parts about the, you know, hardware or whatever's going on here. But the mouse input definitely feels a little delayed, a little floaty. So, but it's not terrible. I'm sure we'll be able to manage. I just want to play this fucking game. <laughs> Because this game very much reminds me of uh, Alien Isolation, and we all know how much I enjoyed that game. I played that, I think, six times. I streamed it once or twice on this channel. Uh, one of the other, one of the streams was actually I streamed on the hard mode. Oh yeah, screen tearing is pretty bad over here. Ooh yeah. Okay. Yeah, screen tearing is pretty bad over here. Okay, watch your step. Be careful and always watch your step. Different services like water, dry leaves, glass, metal, or debris can produce a noisy sound alert that uh, sound and alert the nearby creatures. Yeah. I don't know why the screen tearing is bad over here. So yeah, that's what I mean. Like we're gonna have a very inconsistent, uh, inconsistent experience with this. Maybe I should have waited for a patch for this too before <laughs> before I decided to stream this. If I'm gonna be honest. All right, slow movement. You can you when you can't avoid noisy surfaces, walking slower attenuates uh, the sound. Move slightly to walk slower with the mouse scroll wheel. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the most input is definitely floaty. But it's not like like I say, it's not bad. Definitely feels very off when when turning. Are the aliens already here, you know? That's the question. But yeah, like, like I was saying, uh, this game definitely reminds me a lot of Alien Isolation. And I wonder if it's going to play like it, in, 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 a, in a sense. Because, again, we all know how much I enjoyed that game. Um, also, speaking of which... Sequel for Alien Isolation. It's been confirmed. That is one thing that I've been excited about all week long, ever since I heard about it. Ever since the developers themselves announced a sequel to Alien Isolation on the 10th anniversary of the first game. Yeah, the mouse input is definitely off. Like, it feels very, very floaty and very d delayed. It's very delayed. Like, it doesn't feel good at all. Oh well. What can you do? <laughs> Just wait for a patch and play the game as best you can. That's really it. Jesus. Oh, open doors slowly. Values for doors. Oh, okay, that's cool. Hmm. Hold on a second. 
Let me change my cable. I don't know if it's the fucking cable that I'm using. Can't see it being that the cause, but... <laughs> we'll see, I guess. The cable I was using is a little, a little stiff. Um, yeah, it wasn't the cable. It's just the mouse input is definitely delayed. 100%. I got you pretty good. No. No, you didn't. I just... I didn't know where you were. I didn't know if you were hurt or... A Alex... And, and I can't... I can't lose another... What's wrong? Alex, what's wrong? Oh, Jesus. Shit. Hey, 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 what, what do you need? Huh? Alex, come on, come on. Please, please, please. Tell me how to help, okay? Martin? Mom? What is it? I, I don't know. She, she just... Alex, it's me. It's Laura. Can you look at me, dear? Okay, that's it. Just look at me. And breathe. Breathe. There you go. Everything's gonna be alright, Alex. Find Martin. Hmm. I must explore the ranch and find supplies or the hospital is screwed. Stay calm. Ooh. Sounds like rain, a water stream, or waterfall can cover your sounds. Okay. Just like the movie. Perfect. So, running? Okay, yeah, the game runs pretty good over this way, like in this area. Oh, is that my lungs? Oh yeah, this was, uh, I got asthma, right? It worked. You told me not to try it, but damn it, Tom, it worked. I traveled to that waterfall about half a mile from here and snapped my fingers. Nothing, no creatures, 
Then I spoke at full volume for the first time since before the invasion. Still nothing. Finally, don't kill me, I yelled. And still not a single creature. I mean, it's not a permanent solution, but at least we know louder noise... Excuse me, louder noises will keep the creatures from hearing us. I told you, Tom. I freaking told you. Alright. Maybe I shouldn't run, because I think I do have asthma, so... Red Cloud Ranch. Stay the night, sleep on a cloud. Throughout history, sailors took red skies as an omen for, the, for what the day would bring. As they'd say, red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky at morning, sailors take warning. Well, at Red Cloud Ranch, you'll spend every night sleeping on a cloud, so you can start your day with a pep in your step and a smile on your face. Family owned and operated for over 80 years, we were we here at Red Cloud Ranch pride ourselves on putting you, our guests, back in touch with nature. Whether it's enjoying a hike on one of our scenic trails or biting into a mouth-watering steak. Mmm, yeah, steak. At our award-winning Red Cloud Steakhouse. You'll get back to the basics and rediscover what makes life worth it. Ah. So come on, take a little time for yourself. Book your stay today. Sincerely, The Ranch. Cool. Also, how do I... Oh, inhalers, too. Oh, I can't use it. Okay. Okay. Collectibles. When you find a shiny shuttle, you earn a certain number of credits, depending on its rarity. The rarity is expressed by its color. You can use those points to unlock additional content in the menu under the extra... Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. Thank God it's raining, right? <laughs> Oh, nice.
Rangers turn back. Quiet time. Oh shit. see anyone tell dad also i don't have the microphone turned on um yeah i don't have that turned on because you know streaming <laughs> that's what i don't have it turned on if i was if i wasn't streaming this i would totally be having that turned on 100 percent. but since i'm streaming i'll be talking i'm having that turned off <laughs> Maybe for a second, oh, not maybe, definitely for a second playthrough. Oh. You can see what documents you found in Alex's thoughts uh, by opening the diary. I figured that. Hmm. Hey Sarah, thanks again for giving me your number, but Mr. Rice, my freak of a teacher, took my uh, took my and all my classmates' phones, so we could focus on focus on nature or some shit. I thought, oh, I thought there's not supposed to be any cell reception here anyway, so what the hell? And I thought, oh God, what if Sarah thinks I don't want to text her? So then I thought, what if I just write her a letter or something? And then I thought about Julie, and how back in the 17th century, she'd send letters to all her lovers while she was off being a kick-ass opera star. And having sword fights and stuff, and it just seemed, I don't know, super romantic. Not that I'm expecting this to be romantic, or not romantic, or whatever. Anyway, I, re I await your reply or not. Uh, if, this is, if this was a lot, and you don't want to respond this... Like, totally cool, no worries. Signed, Lydia. Okay. Well, since it's raining, we could just, you know... We'll go upstairs in a second. Definitely looks like we need. We, it definitely looks like we need to go upstairs anyway. They hear you. They hunt you. 